Ren in the land of your part of the country. Another highwayman. Another highwayman from our part of the country. Most of them became politicians, actually, from our part of the country. And some of them turned to singing. <laughs> Willie Brennan, he was a great character. He was a bit of a weirdo, wasn't he? He was one of the, he was one of the first real politicians. He robbed the rich, he robbed the poor, he kept the whole goddamn lot for himself. <laughs> An intelligent thing to do if you're in the business. Yeah, well, there's plenty to take plenty, but there's nothing to take all. One of his, he, he had some great tricks too. One of his tricks was when the uh, great coats, the cavalry, were after him. He turned the shoes backwards on his horse. And they'd come upon his tracks and they'd be leading that way, and Willie would be gone that way. <laughs> I knew he was a bit of a weirdo. <laughs> Brian, do you remember Brian I was telling you about the last half? The fellow with the three gloves. He was held up by robbers one time. He was broke, so he hitched up the horse and cart, and he put two calves and three or four wee pigs and a few bags of spuds, and he took them into town to sell them, to get a few shillings. And he brought the daughter with him to count the money because he wasn't a very good scholar. And then when in they sold everything, they're coming home out of the town, and about two miles out of the town, they're held up by robbers. And the robbers took everything off them. They took the horse and cart even took the clothes off poor O'Brien and the doctor and left them standing stark naked on the side of the road, freezing their tails off. And O'Brien was crying and bewailing his fate. We're lost, we're destroyed, we're ruined, we have lost everything, can't go home to your mother, save nothing. The doctor says, ah, oh, we didn't lose everything. What did you save, she see? The money, she see. Where in the name of God did you put it? In my mouth, she see. Because that's great, says O'Brien, isn't it? Not for pity we didn't bring your mother, we might have saved the horse and cart and all. <laughs> Not that the dogs do it, will <laughs> We were off in Australia not too long ago. I know this, but it's in the book. We stole this song from some lads we heard singing in Brisbane. And they were telling us that their fathers, or grandfathers, I think it was, had been sent out from Ireland. And uh, it made us kind of mad actually because it cost us a fortune to get out there. And these fellas had gotten out there for nothing, it didn't cost them a penny. All you had to do one time was steal a loaf of bread or a, a sheep or, you know, look longingly at your neighbor's wife or something like that. Look longingly at his sheep. <laughs> Been on the road too long, Thomas. <laughs> Say no more about that. Yeah, where was I before I was so rudely and vulgarly interrupted? Oh yeah, we're off in Australia. A good place to be, where the people walk upside down and the man lit it up. But most of the fellas who went off there, they uh, went to went to a place called um, Disneyland. <laughs> Green view. It's a place called Botany Bay, I believe. And we have a song about it that goes like this. I'm a great to the shores of Putney Bay. 